Minnesota. Madam President, I of course join my colleagues in their fond words uh, for uh, Carl Levin. Um, he was a mentor to me like so many and I'm looking forward to speaking about him as well as my good friend Senator Enzi who we also tragically lost this past week um, um, in the coming days. But today I am focused on another topic and that is the Olympics. I rise today to congratulate and honor Minnesota's own Sunisa Lee, who won the gold medal in the women's all-around gymnastics event at the 2020 Olympics in Tokyo. I got up like many Minnesotans at five in the morning uh, to watch this live, uh, and it was a sight to behold. Suni hails from St. Paul, the youngest member of the U.S. women's gymnastic team at just 18, she has been competing on the national and international stages since 2015. She is now officially the best women's gymnast in the world. Suni Lee's journey is a remarkable one. She faced incredible challenges to compete on the world stage, including training through the coronavirus pandemic, breaking her foot, and sadly experiencing tragedies within her family when she lost two relatives to COVID and when a 2019 accident left her father paralyzed. On Thursday, July 29, 2021, she led the American team's quest for gold in the women's all-around gymnastics event after the legendary Simone Biles withdrew. But Simone Biles stayed and was there for her teammates and was there in the stands. But with the pressure of the world upon her, with Suni Lee, who never thought she'd be leading that team, who never thought that this honor would be hers, gave the performance of her life. Suni's difficult and daring uneven bars routine sealed her victory. The routine set a 6.8 difficulty mark and earned a score of 15.3, tied for the highest score by any gymnast in the competition. She defended the American title in the women's all-around gymnastics event, marking the fifth consecutive Olympic win for an American. She also contributed to the U.S. women's gymnastics team's silver medal performance in the team competition. She is a team player and a role model for young men and women around the nation. Suni's entire family contributed to her success. And for many of us who watch, we saw them all in that room cheering her on. Her family, back in time, fled terror and violence in their native country of Laos to create a better life for their children. Her father, John Lee, built Suni a wooden balance beam in their backyard when she was a child because they could not afford to buy one. As she said after her championship performance, we both work for this. My father sacrificed everything to put me in gymnastics. Suni Lee represented the best of America on the world stage. Minnesota, as my colleague Tina Smith uh, will share with you soon, is home to more than 81,000 Hmong Americans, the largest urban concentration in the United States. Suni's family, like many, arrived in America in the aftermath of the Vietnam War, seeking a better life. Suni is the first Hmong American to make the U.S. Olympic team and the first to win an Olympic gold medal. She is the first Asian American to win the women's all-around gymnastics competition. Her accomplishments represent the resiliency of her community and are an inspiration to Hmong Americans and all of us. They also represent her own personal resilience to be able to shine in that moment with such grace under pressure. Truly, she has captured the hearts of Minnesotans and people around the world. Madam President, Suni Lee's win is a remarkable achievement. I am pleased to take this opportunity to congratulate her, her coach, Jess Graba, her parents, John Lee and Yang Tao, and her entire extended family. 
I wish her continued success throughout her gymnastics career and beyond, and we can't wait to welcome her home. Thank you, Madam President. I yield the floor.